we, we heard from our friends that the event was going on and we wanted to learn more about how we uh, can support locally. I feel like before October 7th, I didn't really know much about Gaza and the West Bank and Palestine beyond what I learned in the Bible as a Christian. Um, but I see that this is a cause that needs so much support. And one of the things that got me most interested in um, this genocide is the fact that so many children have been martyred. Um, I'm on social media a lot, so seeing body parts and hearing stories of parents losing their children even at, when they're unborn or barely after they've been born is awful, awful. And it's that, I guess, piqued my interest in wanting to learn more. I think the United States is blind. <laughs> I think that we like to shove a lot of things under the rug and we don't like to talk about what's really going on in the world. I think that we like to look at things um, at face value and not understand underlying reasons. Um, we create our own stories, we twist the news, we have propaganda here that is in support of Israel. And something that's been difficult is um, reconciling that I'm not anti-Semitic for not supporting Zionism, but in fact I stand with um, the Palestinian community because they deserve to have their voices heard and to be seen and they deserve to be protected and they deserve peace on their land. Absolutely, and ultimately we would love to see a uh, cease and supply um, of weapons to Israel. I mean, that's what's helping them uh, carry out this genocide and the fact that our money is going towards mm -hmm. that is just despicable. I mean, when we have poverty and issues here that those trillions of dollars could fix, yeah. but instead they're funding a genocide. Yeah. Joining more local protests. Yeah. Um, I'm in River Park a lot, so there's no reason why I can't be out on the corner of Blackstone and Knees Absolutely. helping out and um, getting the word out there. Also, um, I'm an educator, and I don't want to forget that. I am an educator in the middle of a genocide, and multiple genocides actually happening all around the world, and it is hard to talk about this kind of thing at work and to bring it up um, for fear of losing my job. and not having my livelihood, but at the same time, I'm a student at Fresno State where we've seen a lot of voices being risen up to support Palestine. And on top of that, I also study culture and human development. And this movement has spurred me forward in wanting to raise my voice even louder and making sure that I am putting people on a platform so that they can be heard.